I'm Jamie. And I'm Joey, and this is KTV for Friday, May 20th, 2022. Happy Friday, Colts. Just a friendly reminder to get all your books in by Friday the 27th. Are you wondering where your library books went? We've got some suggestions for you. Thanks, Marissa. I can't believe there are over 400 books overdue. Let's get them into the library ASAP so they'll be here for students next year. Hey, Colts. May is Asian, American, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Today we're going to learn about Cecilia Chung, a civil rights leader who has broken barriers and worked for equality for all. Check it out. Cecilia Chung is a civil rights leader who advocates for HIV awareness and LGBT plus equality and social justice. She is currently on the San Francisco Human Rights Commission. She is the first transgender woman and first person living openly with HIV to chair the San Francisco Human Rights Commission. Chung is an immigrant from Hong Kong who called San Francisco home since December of 1984. She has worked internationally and locally to advance justice and equality. She is also the first trans woman and first Asian to be elected to lead the Board of Jackson's. The work on the task force she led to the city to adopt many anti-discrimination policies. One of one life skill that Cecilia showed was effort. It takes a lot of effort for someone who is a minority and an immigrant to get where she is now. Chung launched Positively Trans, a national network of transgender people living with HIV that led in by an advisory board of transgender people of color living with HIV that focus on storytelling, policy advocacy, and leadership development. We can all learn from Cecilia Chung and stand up for what we believe in and fight for those who face discrimination. Who can you fight for today? We all benefit when someone works for equal rights. Thanks for sharing Trump's story with us, Sabrina. In school contest news, today is the deadline for your promotion cover artwork. Turn it into the student window by 3 p.m. today. Good luck, artists. Now in school schedule news, since our teachers worked so hard last night at open house, school today will be out at 1.20 p.m. That's right, it's a Wednesday schedule on Friday. Enjoy! I wonder what the weather is going to be like for our, e for our weekend. Let's talk to the weather studio with Amir. Thanks, Joey. Welcome to the weather studio. This weekend will be fairly warm with the 70s all weekend. I mean the high 70s. Today we will have a high of 76 and a low of 44 on high. On Saturday, we'll have a maximum of 78 and a minimum of 44. This Sunday, we'll have a high of 79 and a low of 50, which is the warmest day of the weekend. It will be very sunny, so don't forget your sunscreen. Now for a weather joke. What did the evaporating raindrops say? I'm going to pieces. Now back to Jamie and Joey in the KTV studio. Thanks, Amir. These sunny days are a real boost to my mood. Having lunch outside in the sun would be great. What can we enjoy from the cafeteria today, Joey? Today's menu includes a teriyaki chicken and cheese, and chicken and rice, 
a Primo four cheese pizza, spicy bread chicken breast sandwich, and turkey and ham and cheese sandwich. That sounds delicious. Now to end today's show, let's go to Dylan in the sports corner. Thanks, Joey. Did you know that on this day in history, May 20th, 1926, famous race car driver Bob Swiker was born? He won the 1955 Indianapolis 500 and the 1955 National Championship. He definitely used life skills like effort and perseverance. Speaking of driving, what goes through the towns and uphills but never moves? A road. Now back to the KTV studio with Joey and Jamie. Thanks, Dylan. That's it for today, Colts. Remember to turn in your cover artwork by 3 o'clock today and get your overdue library books in by May 27th. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV.